you so much to those of you that stayed and didn't wander off. Appreciate you very much. Um, my name is Teresa Eman. Um, I am, as my sound guy Randy reminded me, 90 years old. At least it feels that way. This is, I think, like my 19th year doing the Mid-Atlantic Air Museum's World War II weekend. And uh, next year's the big 2-0. Hopefully I'll be alive and I probably at that point I'll be 100. If you ask Randy. Um, and so I'm delighted to be here uh, for that much time and hopefully for the next uh, half hour or so um, sing some of the songs you guys have come to expect from me and I'm delighted and fortunate to be joined once again by Joe and Heidi who come all the way down from New York City to do their fabulous footwork and as they will say to you as well the dance floor is always open it's not just for them, so if you've been practicing your moves the last year, and want to give it a twirl, Joe and Heidi would be glad to have you uh, come up and show them what you got. If not, sit back and relax. I'm not a dancer, I'm a singer, so I enjoy watching them. So we're gonna start the day <clears throat> with the song that I always do when I start this air show because it's a misery when it's raining, so it's my hope for the weekend that I think is gonna come true. This is a song called Blue Skies. for several reasons. First of all, it was the first song that Ella Fitzgerald did with any critical acclaim when she was singing with the Chick Webb Orchestra. But more importantly, it was a song that I did uh, when we had the uh, Abbott and Costello tribute show here and Bud Lou made it very special for me. And so I do it now as kind of a tribute to them because it is never going to be the same 
without them. So I do try to imagine them doing the men's voices in this that are now just recorded. But this is a song called A Tisket, A Tasket. And they are proof positive that you don't have to have been a lifetime dancer. You can start at any time. And uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to invite them up to the stage um, to do kind of a little demonstration and talk a little bit about what it is that they do. Uh, but meanwhile, we'll sing a few and then get them on up here. This next song is um, a song that became popular towards the end of World War II. Um, it became popular in part because a lot of the soldiers were getting ready to come home and the lyrics of this song really kind of spoke to them. This is a song I'm sure you're all familiar with. This is called uh, Sentimental Journey.
again. She sees me once a year, and she comes to help, and it's the one time a year I can tell her what to do for me. And I love Erica, but she just ruined my moment. I'm just kidding. So this next song, while I take a drink, I try not to spill water all over myself, um, started out as a big band number. And then it was recorded with a, um, a quartet of two men, two women, might have been the modern airs, I need to do a little bit more research, but it was a it was a group similar to the modern airs. And then in the 50s, it was sung by um, a woman named Etta James, and that was when it was pretty much solidified into history, but I like to sing it because it got its start during World War II. Erica, this one's for you, this is at last. song. Guys, if you drug your wife here, you just missed your chance to win all the points back by slow dancing with her. But fear not, we'll have another ballad later. Um, I'm going to switch something around here. I'm going to do Nice Work If You Can Get It, um, which is a song that I really like to sing mostly because I like to watch Joe and Heidi dance to it. So um, we're going to invite them back up to the stage because this is more of a, a danceable tune. And like I said, this is nice work if you can get it. <laughs>
work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Strolling with that one boy, sighing sigh after sigh. It's nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. now to uh, do a little presentation on the dance dances that you are seeing and talk a little bit about what they do and uh, so if you would please welcome them to the stage hello and welcome to the weekend this is the this is the morning I look back on later in the weekend and I get jealous of myself for having the whole three days ahead so I hope you'll be coming back each day. They are just wonderful. Um, and we've been pleased to be a part of this for more than 10 years now. And our dancing has improved along the way. And we've learned a lot more about dancing in the period through attending these events. Um, what we're going to do is a demonstration to the Summer 920 special. We'll probably do it down here. We have done it before up here, but <laughs> I feel like we might break the stage. So <laughs> we are doing dances of the period from the late 30s and early 40s. And what's so interesting about them and how they intersect with the World War II period is that oftentimes dances were regional and developing in the streets, young kids picking up on ways to move to the emerging swing scene. So for example, the kids in Harlem at the Cotton Club were making that up from the late 20s through the 30s. The dance called the Lindy Hop that is sort of the backbone of swing, vintage swing you see today. You'll see a lot of that. You'll also see probably some of a, a tight footwork dance that we were doing earlier to Blue Skies and some other songs. That is a, a form of swing that was done in Los Angeles where the ballrooms were even more packed. So people were thrown out if they broke out of this tight position. Um, we like to combine them musically, and everything that we're about to do and have been doing is completely impromptu. So no choreography, we just go with the music, which is the most fun and freeing way to dance. Uh, and with that being said, I think we'll jump in and mix it up with 920 Special. 
for the different shapes that we created. Just giving you a heads up if it, you're like, it's room temperature, it's mine. Um, this is an Andrew Sisters tune. Most of us uh, here that are female do this song, so uh, you're going to hear it a lot. I never get tired of it. My mom asked for it. I'm getting it out of the way early. This is uh, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy.
Lisa Eman. I will be back at 1 o'clock. Please don't go anywhere. The Martin Sisters Band is going to entertain you with some amazing vocals and music. If I don't see you the rest of the day, have a great day. If I do, we'll see you shortly. Bye.